Hello and welcome to the 100 Indie Artists Project. This is a music project designed for and by independent artists to help you firstly get to know some of the incredible musicians in your community, as well as get to know some insights and some tools that you can take on board with your own musical marketing journey. Tell us about who you are as an artist and your background. Hey, my name's Mike. I'm a cinematic producer composer and artist from Perth in Western Australia. I've been uh, composing music for probably the last 10 years now, uh, but in the last year-ish, I uh, decided to start producing songs um, with a cinematic touch, bringing my composer background into that. So yeah, uh, about a year ago, started myself up as an artist project, just under my name, Michael Ellery, creating cinematic tracks from epic to nice and intimate and su um, subtle. So that's uh, who I am and my background. What musical projects are you working on right now? Some of the musical projects I'm working on at the moment, uh, I've got a uh, video game I'm actually scoring. It's called Particle Hearts. It's quite a uh, cinematic ambient kind of piece, which is really cool. Leans into my more neoclassical uh, background. Um, but working on a bunch of other projects, I've got some releases coming out in the next couple of months uh pretty much one a month um and yeah just working on more cinematic stuff i've got a couple of different writers and singers i'm working with so uh yeah pretty excited about getting some more stuff out um but yeah always working on something where do you feel that you're at in your musical journey right now and where would you like to get to i feel like i am pretty uh, i'm definitely a lot further than i thought thought I would be and I'm a lot further than I th um, I guess that I think I am um, but I'm I'm pretty far in my musical journey I'm officially full-time I officially started that uh, two weeks ago in uh, start of middle of August um, so music is my day job now uh, which is really cool and I get to work with a bunch of you know, different artists and producers and all sorts of different things and working on different projects so it's really cool keeping myself busy with that. Uh, it's awesome. Um, but I would love to be doing more. Um, I'm kind of not super focused, but one of my focuses is sync music uh, and music for film and TV and stuff. So I'd love to just be further into that, I guess, and uh, getting some placements with my music and, you know, being able to get my music used in trailers and cinematic uh, pieces and stuff like that. It would be pretty cool. Um, and even just working with other artists, that's, that's always been a dream of mine, working and helping other people uh, build up the songs that they want to build. So getting to that, we're getting there, but uh, not quite there yet. What do you love most about being an independent artist? I think the thing I love most about being an independent artist is I can do what I want when I want. Um, I, granted, don't have a massive understanding of how not being an independent artist would work um but i think just yeah being able to do what i want i can advertise how i want i can you know pursue whatever avenues i want um work on the schedules i want uh just yeah that having that freedom i think is really cool and i mean another bonus is all the money goes to me i'm not paying a label or a, you know a publisher to handle anything um you know all, all of that money come straight to me or you know and and my co-writers so um that's always a nice benefit what do you find the most challenging about being an independent artist but on the flip side the most challenging part i guess uh i i mean one of them is i have to rely on myself to push myself to advertise myself i'm essentially you know running an entire business just myself you've got the admin you've got the finances you've got the promotions you've got the sales team stuff like that um, you have to do all that yourself. So you have to really make sure you're keeping on top of all of those different avenues. Um, and also just, yeah, I guess the social media aspect of it is a massive tough one for me at the moment. Trying to get my head around how that works and the best ways to utilize it. Um, whereas, you know, these labels and publishers, they've got teams that have spent their entire budgets dedicated to studying social media and how that works and how to most effectively uh, deal with that so it's uh, 
it's that's definitely probably one of the biggest challenges at the moment for me. What has been your experience in marketing and promoting your music? My overall experience, it's been interesting. Um, promoting through uh, Groover, for example, is just a playlist pitching site. Um, has been pretty beneficial to me. I've landed some good playlists and some good blogs and stuff like the 100 Indies Artist Project. Um, but it's it's tough, you know, you, you're trying to find different ways to promote your music and uh, I'm learning more and more about it and how to better do it, but um, it's it's been a lot of just friends and family at the moment and uh, landing the occasional playlist on Spotify and stuff, but it's it's been it's been tough but we're getting there slowly what has been one thing you've learned along the way that has been the biggest game changer for you in music marketing one thing i've learned uh along the way that's been the biggest game changer for me in uh, music marketing uh would probably just be i mean they always say it but it really is just be yourself and be your authentic you um because in a world of, I don't know what it is, 86 million songs hitting Spotify every day or whatever, it's a stupid amount of numbers. You know, in a world where there's that much music going out there and you're throwing your song out there, you know, the, the music is, and you know, not all of that is good music, but a lot of it is really good music and people can produce really good songs just out of their bedroom. Um, so good music isn't the prerequisite anymore for going viral or you know getting big um you know you've got to be the people are interested in who you are who, as a person you know what's your story what makes you unique so that's been a i mean i'm still learning i'm still trying to figure that out for myself but that has probably been one of the bigger game changers uh in terms of music marketing is not just marketing your music and just throwing your music out there and saying hey listen to this song it's really cool um, because you know there's a half a million other songs out there that are also very cool but um, yeah just you know pitching yourself and sharing yourself and in, in your music and stuff is that's a big, pretty big game changer for me what has been your experience with building a fan base and what have you learned along the way it's been interesting I mean it's slow for me but that's okay uh, I'm still working it out um, through a different couple of different avenues like Instagram and TikTok and that, but I also stream on Twitch, uh, doing my music production. So I've gained a few people who follow me through that and who you know love what I do and follow me as well for me, not just my music. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's been slow. We're as I said, still working it all out. It's the joys of being an independent artist. You got to work it out. But um, yeah, I've learned just to keep pushing um be authentic be yourself and you know, stuff like that it's it's just very valuable stuff to building in that fan base because ultimately they you know they're there for you and your music not just your music you know they, they want to care about you as well so learning that has been good we're getting there earning an income within music can be very challenging and often requires a diverse source of income streams what are some of the streams of income you have relating to your music? Some of the income streams that I've had for my music, um, as a composer, I started out in the like music library business side of it, I guess. So pitching my music, instrumental stuff to royalty free libraries and to sync libraries and stuff like that. So that's probably the biggest income stream at the moment for me is uh, music libraries, royalty free libraries as well. Um, yeah it's definitely been a helpful one and relatively consistent and kind of was slow going at the start but built up and it's kind of kept going which is nice so that keeps me um sustained i guess for for, for lack of a better word helps uh me be able to do keep, and keep doing what i'm doing um i've just picked up a video game score like i said earlier on and so that's another income stream that i've just been able to pick up um, as well as uh, uh, you, you can hire me on sound better um, so I've gotten a few jobs through that as well which has been awesome so it's a couple of different income streams and obviously I mean it's a couple of dollars but uh, Spotify streams and stuff like that always uh, helpful not that it's a lot but you know a lot of senses makes up 
a lot of cents makes up a good amount of dollars so it it's getting there what advice would you give to an artist that's watching or listening to this who is beginning to embark on their own independent musical journey firstly you know figure out what is you what's your niche uh, you know, what's your specialized area? You know, are you a, a pop artist? Are you a folk artist? You know, figure out what you, what, what makes you happy, but also what you're really good at, because then you can f- really focus on pushing songs out in that realm and you're going to enjoy doing it, you know, cause it, it, it will probably be hard at the start trying to get the listeners and the followers and all that. Um, but if you're at least enjoying what you're doing, it makes it that much easier. Um, but also, I mean, having a side job to support yourself is always helpful. Um, otherwise save up a butt ton of money and get, get ready to, you know, skimp out on the, uh, (laughs) avocado as they say. Um, but yeah, I think just having a savings there is, is helpful. I had, uh, quit my job and had a good amount of like holiday leave and stuff so it all laddered up and enabled me to be able to go full time um, but I've got a time limit I've got to push for this to you know get working so yeah having a having a savings or you know being uh, having a side job is always very helpful and don't be discouraged by that I think you know we all have to start at the bottom unless you're you know, crazy good and some label randomly picks you up, you know, we we have to start from the bottom and, you know, working a side job to pursue your music career is not a bad thing by any means. A lot of people have done that. A lot of the big names have done that and that's how they started. So don't be discouraged by that and just keep pushing it and don't, don't give up. If it's what you truly feel like you want to do, don't give up because you will get there. It's, I mean, it's been eight, 10 years of me just constantly making for the sake of making being creative putting my stuff out there and uh finally i'm able to go full time so it can take time it can it may not it may take a while but yeah don't give up keep doing it and we'll see you on the other side